So I was up in Kingston uh, riding my kick scooter, and who do I run into? Gerald Salanta. If you don't know who this guy is, he's quite famous. He has a show and a publication. He's been on CNN and a bunch of big television shows as well. So I accidentally ran into him in front of his uh, studio where he records his YouTube output, and he was just so friendly and warm i couldn't believe it we were chatting for a few minutes and then uh, we parted our ways in and i went back to scoot in kingston this is the street where the salenta studio is located you can see that sign that says occupypeace.com that's one of his websites and you can see the town this is one of my favorite old american towns to visit especially in the summer Right now it was anything like summer, so it was pretty cold. And But this is the one town that is almost undisturbed. They have put in a few modernist garbage buildings, but for the most part, you're looking around and this is, this is probably, minus the cars, this is how an old American town must have looked a hundred years ago. There are some buildings from, I would say the 18th century, maybe even the 17th, but that's more like just the foundation of an old building with uh, a more recent structure on it. Everything is beautiful. Scooting is, was really nice because there was hardly anybody up there. During the summer months, the, the town is mobbed by tourists, but in the winter, it's not like that, although it's not as nice either. And a lot of the restaurants and shops were actually closed. This was a Sunday afternoon. Uh, the sidewalks are really badly broken up, but the roads themselves are nice. And this is a kind of idyllic town, a tourist town, a bit like Lambertville in New Jersey. There's no slum, there's no poverty and homelessness and all of that. So it is like a, a bit like a slice of heaven, except that if you live there, it must get really boring after a while especially if you spend most of your life in Manhattan. But it's a really nice place to visit. There is a, uh, you can take the train up to Poughkeepsie and then there is a free shuttle bus to take you up here. And it's just a small bus. You don't have to pay, it runs every three hours or so. You can also take a big bus from Manhattan all the way up directly up to Kingston but the problem is that bus has a luggage compartment and you are required to put your bike into that compartment which I am simply not willing to do see how this guy does this he's gonna lay down but that means any number of suitcases can be piled up by other people it can be kicked and knocked around so I have never done the big bus. On the small bus, it's easier because you actually get to keep the bike with you as you ride. And there is a kind of a luggage compartment that is in the bus. You can watch it. You can help people arrange their their items so that they wouldn't crush your bike. That's much better, in, in my opinion. But this time around, I was on the kick scooter, which I tend to prefer during the winter month just because of the body heat that I get to generate uh, when I roll around on it, as opposed to a bicycle. This is uh, the map of the KPL bus, the Kingston Poughkeepsie line, and it runs maybe after, I mean, every three hours or so on the weekends from the, the train station all the way to the middle of Kingston. I'm putting a link below to the schedule of the bus and more information 